You're watching Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. From the end of the Second World War, through the Korean War, Cold War, and the Vietnam War, and right into the Gulf War, the Mohawk Valley played an important part in the defense of the country. Griffiths Air Force Base was a major piece in the air defense puzzle, and tonight, the first part of a two-part hidden history on Griffiths Air Force Base. Here's Joe Kelly. Before the U.S. even entered the Second World War, plans were in the works for the Rome Air Depot. The Pentagon began the search in central New York in the spring of 1941. The site, slightly northeast of the city of Rome, was agreed upon in the summer of 41, and ground was broken before the leaves fell from the trees. On February 18, 1942, the Rome Air Depot began operations. The man who oversaw the construction of the facility was Major General Kenneth Nichols. A civil engineer, Nichols would go on to head up the engineering element of the Manhattan Project that ended the war with the atomic bomb. It was known as the Air Depot from its opening in 42 until 1948 when the name Griffiths was attached. It came from Lieutenant Colonel Townsend Griffiths, the first U.S. airman killed in the line of duty in Europe in World War II. Griffiths was shot down in the English Channel by friendly fire. Rome was home to the second Griffiths Air Force Base. The first was in Kansas during World War II. Rome provided mostly maintenance on aircraft and their engines. Once the war ended, so did most of the work at the Air Depot. The Air Depot actually closed in 1967. Griffiths Air Force Base lived on with many different units calling it home. It housed various fighter interceptor squadrons over three decades. In the summer of 1958, the Flying Giants began to operate out of Griffiths, the B-52 bombers, part of the fleet of Strategic Air Command. Out of Rome from 1958 until Griffiths Air Force Base was deactivated in 1995. Next week, Griffiths in its heyday and current status today. Produced with the cooperation of the United County History Center, I'm Joe Kelly, and this is Hidden History.